Welcome all and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the second session of the chapter Formation of the Earth. In this session, we have been learning about the members of our solar system. This session has been divided into two parts. In the first part, we learnt about our sun and the first four planets. In this part, we will learn about the outer planets and other small solar system bodies. The outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. All the outer planets are much larger in size as compared to the inner planets. But they do not have solid surface and are made up of gases, mainly hydrogen and helium. Jupiter Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. Ancient astronomers named Jupiter after the Roman king of the gods. It is 5.2 astronomical units away from the Sun. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. More than 1300 Earth-shaped spheres can fit into Jupiter. Despite its huge size, it rotates on its axis about every 10 hours, fastest among all the planets of our solar system. However, due to its distance from the Sun, it takes about 12 Earth years to orbit the Sun. It is a gas giant because it does not have a solid surface. Due to its fast rotation speed, its atmosphere is very unstable and contains high speed winds which forms colorful bands with semi-permanent spots which are possibly hurricanes. One such hurricane is known as the Great Red Spot. Jupiter has at least 67 known satellites. The largest satellite of Jupiter is named Ganymede. In fact, it is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Jupiter plays a big role in the stability on planet Earth as Jupiter's gravity deflects most of the asteroids and comets that head towards Earth. In the absence of Jupiter, Earth would have been hit by an asteroid or a comet once in every 10,000 years. Thanks to Jupiter, we are able to live peacefully on Earth. Peacefully? Well, not exactly. Saturn Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and is named after the Roman god of agriculture. Saturn is 9.5 astronomical units away from the Sun and is considered to be the most beautiful planet of our solar system due to the presence of its spectacular rings. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. Its mass is equal to 95 times of the Earth's total mass. It is considered one of the four gas giant planets. The length of a Saturn year is 29.5 Earth years. The rotation speed of Saturn is also very fast. Not as fast as Jupiter though. It completes one rotation in less than 11 hours. It has little less than 60 known satellites. Titan is the largest satellite of Saturn. In fact, it is the second largest known satellite of our solar system. Adorned with thousands of beautiful ringlets, Saturn is unique among the planets. All four gas giant planets have rings that are made of ice and rock. But none are as spectacular as Saturn's ring. Uranus Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. 
it's the only planet that is named after a Greek god instead of a Roman god. That's the Greek god of sky. It lies 19.2 astronomical units away from the sun. Its mass is equal to 14 times the total mass of the earth. It takes 84 earth years to complete one revolution, but only 17 hours to complete one rotation. It has a pretty pale blue color because of a lot of methane gas present in the atmosphere. Methane absorbs the red color and thus gives a bluish appearance to this planet. Uranus also has rings like Saturn, though they aren't very noticeable. The rings are made up of ice and rock. Uranus was discovered in 1761. It is so big that 50 Earths could fit inside it. The most unique part about Uranus is that its axis is tilted at 90 degrees with the plane of the ecliptic and therefore it spins on its sides. On Earth, we have the North Pole and the South Pole, but everything is topsy-turvy in Uranus. Its poles are on its sides and it orbits the Sun on its sides. Scientists think a planet as big as Earth may have crashed into Uranus at some point, tipping it onto its side. It has at least 21 moons which orbit around it. Neptune Neptune is the last of the hydrogen and helium gas giants in our solar system. It is named after Roman god of sea. More than 30 times as far from the sun as Earth, it is 30.1 astronomical units away from the sun. The planet takes almost 165 Earth years to orbit the sun. The average distance between Neptune and the sun is 4.5 billion kilometers. In 2011, Neptune completed its first orbit since its discovery in 1846. Neptune also has methane just like Uranus and it is often considered as Uranus twin. Just like other gas giants, Neptune rotates fast on its axis. It completes one rotation in little more than 16 Earth hours. Due to its distance from the Sun, it is very cold. It has eight known satellites. So these were the eight planets of our solar system and their natural satellites. Apart from these, our solar system contains many small solar system bodies. Let us explore them one by one. Dwarf planet Pluto. Pluto, once considered as the ninth planet of our solar system and still a controversial topic, is now into the category of dwarf planets. Pluto was named after the Roman god of underworld, Pluto is unlike other planets in many respects. It is smaller than Earth's moon. Its orbit carries it inside the orbit of Neptune and then way out beyond that orbit. Pluto's orbit is tilted to the main plane of the solar system where the other planets orbit by 17.1 degree. It's a cold, rocky world only a very ephemeral atmosphere. It was discovered in 1930 and it takes 6.4 Earth days to complete one rotation, while 248 Earth years to complete one revolution. Asteroids Asteroids are rocky, airless bodies that orbit our Sun but are too small to be called planets. Tens of thousands of these minor planets are located in the main asteroid belt, a vast donut-shaped ring between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids are found in all sizes. 
The smaller ones are irregular in shape, while the larger ones are roughly spherical in shape. The largest known asteroid is named Ceres. It has a diameter of about 1000 kilometers. There are about 200 asteroids with diameter over 100 kilometers and thousands of smaller ones. Regardless of size and shape, all asteroids rotate on their axis every 5 to 20 hours. Asteroids are fascinating celestial bodies. You can see a glimpse of an asteroid in the Hollywood science fiction movie Armageddon, released in 1998, starring Bruce Willis, which shows how a group of blue-collar deep core drillers sent by NASA stop a gigantic asteroid that is on a collision course with Earth. Worth watching. Comets The word comet comes from Latin words stella cometa meaning hairy star. Comets are cosmic snowballs of frozen gases, rock and dust roughly the size of a small town. Comets move around the sun in regular orbits, but their orbits are such elongated ellipses that it takes them hundreds and sometimes even thousands of years to complete one revolution. The comets are visible only when it travels close to the sun. When a comet's orbit brings it close to the sun, it heats up and gives out dust and gas into a giant glowing head larger than most planets. The dust and gases form a tail that always points away from the sun for millions of kilometers. Humans have observed one of these comets known as Halley's Comet and recorded its appearance since ancient times. Earlier it was believed that these appearances were of different comets. But in the late 17th and early 18th century, Edmund Halley, an English astronomer, claimed that the comets observed at different times were in fact the same comet and it returns after 76 years. His prediction turned out to be true with time and this comet was named after him. It was last seen in 1986 and will return in 2062. Meteors and Meteorites Look, it's a shooting star. Close your eyes and make a wish. Have you ever thought what these shooting stars actually are? Very often the celestial bodies collide with one another and during these collisions fragments of rocks may break off. Some of these might find their way towards Earth due to Earth's gravity. Such celestial objects are known as meteors. These meteors usually burn up before they reach the Earth's surface due to the heat produced by friction caused when they enter the atmosphere with high velocity. Some large meteors might not burn completely and reach the Earth's surface. Such meteors are called meteorites. Watching a meteor Burn in the sky is a spectacular view which lasts for few seconds only. Whatever it might be, do make a wish when you see a shooting star. Who knows, it might turn true. This was all for this session. In the next session, we will explore about shape and size of Earth. Don't forget to watch. Thank you.